Hey everybody, it's Ann Kaplan from Ann Kaplan Childbirth Services and Mom Me. And I'm going live today. I don't have a theme for this week. There's a couple of little loose ends that I really wanted to talk about this week. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. And what I'm talking about today is something that I sort of touched on when I did the Food Freedom broadcast, which got a lot of attention, by the way. So thanks everybody for sharing that out and um, really taking it seriously because it's something that I think is hugely important. But um, to circle back to, okay, food freedom, that's great. Let's change our relationship with food in our bodies. But also what kind of is a sister issue to that is body image. And I specifically want to talk today about how do we um, work to help our kids have a, a positive body image. So, you know, for me, I struggled a long, long time with feeling a lot of shame and guilt about how I looked and dissatisfaction with my body and... I felt really bad about how I looked and I would talk about it a lot. Um, but even when I was in my most darkest times, I had the self-awareness at least to try not to talk like that around my kids. Um, but I know that even so, they would overhear me if I was chatting with a friend or talking to my husband or whatever. Kids are very perceptive. So <clears throat> if you don't feel good about yourself, I promise you your kids know that already. No matter how good you are at pretending. <coughs> Excuse me. Your kids know. Your kids know if you feel bad about yourself. And they definitely um, notice and it definitely affects them because so does everything that's around all of us affect us. Correct? Correct. Um, so, but you know, there is an ability that you have within you to flip that around and to change the way that you think about your body. For me personally, that was using isogenics and the health, specifically the healthy mind and body program. Um, it doesn't have to be that way. Obviously there's a million ways to skin that cat, but it's definitely something to pursue. But what I want to talk about today is like, okay, great. I've actually made massive strides about how I um, talk around my children about my body and how I um, talk to my children about their body and, and not just how I talk but how I actually feel about my body. How do I see myself when I look in the mirror? How do I feel about myself when I navigate the world? That stuff has really changed and it's so, so wonderful and healthy for my kids. But I can't shelter or protect my children from the negative talk that people have about their bodies all around them. So I want to give you guys an example. So this weekend we were hanging out with somebody that is a big part of our children's lives and she basically spent 40 minutes enumerating all of the parts of her body that she wishes were different. Oh, I wish my arms looked different. Oh, I wish my waist was smaller. Oh, you know, I just wish that I could fit into such and such clothes over and over and over again. And for me, that is really toxic talk that I would prefer not to be around my kids. It's not how we speak about our bodies and our family and I feel like it's very poisonous. But I can't stop that from happening. And, I, and even if I could, when I was with my kids, how about all the time when they're not with my kids? So it was a really big dilemma. And of course, when I have a big dilemma, I talk to my therapist about it because I love her. Hello, Nancy, if you're watching. Um, and so uh, what she said, and which I kind of started to do a little bit, but I think I was just so triggered by this incident that I wasn't thinking very clearly. I'm like, what, could, what should I do? How can I protect my kids from this person? And, and then, you know, obviously that's not the solution. And also I can't protect my kids from that person. So instead she said, you know, try to think about those instances where you hear that kind of language as an opportunity to have a conversation with your kids. So later on in the night, I can say to my kids, you know, oh, did you notice when so-and-so was saying all those things about her body? Like, what did you think about when she said that? And you know, how did it make you feel to hear somebody talk that way about their body? And um, you know, also like, oh, have you heard other people talking that way about their body? I hear that sometimes too, it makes me really sad. And have a conversation with your kids, not about saying, oh, that person's crazy, don't listen to that person, whatever. No, it's an opportunity for us to be planting more and more seeds in our kids' minds about um, how there's choices in life on how you can think about things and how you can see the world and to have compassion for people that maybe are really struggling and are approaching their lives from a place of fear or um, insecurity or shame and things like that and how sad it feels when you're in that mindset and and talk about that with your kids in a way that can teach them like 
you know what, doesn't it feel so much better when we're thinking about this way about our bodies instead and think about how incredible your body is and things like that. So um, hopefully that's helpful. I'd love for this to start a conversation in our group, you guys. This is an ongoing issue. I'm going to be talking about body love and body positivity periodically, probably until the day I die because it's something that's very near and dear to my heart. And I think that it's something that can be a huge linchpin to changing um, really the possibilities that you feel are available to you in life. So um, reach out to me if you want to talk more about your own feelings of body love or lack thereof, and also how to talk about that stuff with our kids. I think it's so, so important, just in general, to be teaching our kids not that to turn, you know, be deaf to messages we don't want them to hear, that's never going to work. You know, instead to be teaching them like how to receive those messages in ways that aren't damaging to them. Um, so I hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. I hope you had an awesome Memorial Day weekend and I'm so glad to be back in the States with a Wi-Fi connection that's working and with my tribe again. I miss you guys all very, very much. Um, happy Tuesday and um, if this stuff is interesting to you, follow along um, in the Facebook group, of course, but subscribe at mommyexperience.com and if you decide to choose a premium subscription level, you'll get um, much more content with more um, in-depth tutorials, parenting lessons, things like that. And um, I'm going to be starting to talk about birthy stuff coming up pretty soon. I've been talking about parenting stuff a ton, and I haven't talked about birth very much at all. And I'm going to be um, featured, actually, at um, the Everything Baby Expo coming up in a few weeks here in Colorado. So I'm going to be talking about birth soon. So get ready, everybody, and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.